Alrighty, what is up guys? Augie or TC Productions and we have another tech review. This Galaxy Tab S. Sorry, there might be some glare there in my light. And the iPad Mini for comparison. So let's get into it. So the Galaxy Tab S, first thing you notice, you pick it up super thin and super light. It's like less than a pound and the iPad mini was thin, and this just tops that. The Galaxy Tab S 8.4 has an 8 megapixel back camera with flash, which is something the iPad mini does not have, and it has a 5 megapixel camera. Um, it has a 2.1 megapixel front camera, which the iPad mini I think has like a 1.2. Um, it runs Android KitKat. Uh, it has a finger sensor, but it is not the new finger sensor like in the S6. It is the old swipe one, so, but hey, it's cool. Whatever, if you use it, you use it. If you don't, you don't. And the screen re resolution is 1600 by 2560. The iPad mini has a 7.9 inch touchscreen display with a 1024 by 768 screen resolution, a back camera with 5 megapixels and 1080p HD video, and a front camera with a 1.2 megapixel camera. The iPad mini's processing chip is the A5.